So you're in the research phase and you're looking to find a bunch of information to help you with your outdoor space. Well, I'm here to help you. In this video series, I break down lots of different outdoor spaces and tell you how much it costs because at the end of the day, that's really what you need to know so that you can start the process. We're gonna get right into it, let's go. If we haven't met, my name is Bobby Kay. I'm a professional landscape designer and installer, and I run about 100 to 125 projects locally here in St. Louis, Missouri a year. So I know what I'm talking about. I was in the field for over 15 years. I've been designing and general contracting for well over five. So I'm here as a resource to help you, to help you understand what it really takes and what to expect. If you've got, say, a $25,000 budget, what can you really get with that? Or if, say, you only got five, what are some of the things that you can do to make your yard look better? So the best way to do it is with examples. I'm gonna have three different sets of examples in this video to show you what are some of the areas that are gonna cost a lot and some that might be a little bit more affordable. We're gonna start with some kitchens, then we're gonna get into some retaining walls and landscaping, and then we're gonna to get to the highest end of the spectrum, which is pretty much the outdoor living space, the big bad boys that you see on HGTV. How much does that stuff cost? So make sure you watch to the end because that's probably where you're going in the first place. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Hit this if I do a good job at the end of the video, but you know, let's get right into it and say, how much does it cost? All right, the first round, we're gonna get into some kitchen. So the first picture here, it's a beautiful kitchen. It's got that veneer stone. It's got the granite countertops. It's got the stainless steel appliances. It's even got a TV up there, a fan. You can tell this is an outdoor room. I wanna focus just on the kitchen though. So your granite countertops here, you're probably gonna hit around three to $3,500. Your stainless steel appliances, which is the fridge, some cabinetry, a trash can, a barbecue, who knows what's on the other side of here. You're probably gonna need to budget around, um, I'd say about 5K for that, maybe a little less. And then you've got the stone and the labor and everything that goes into this, the concrete pad that's gotta go underneath the kitchen to support the weight. There's a lot of prep. Overall, a kitchen like this, just the kitchen with all the stuff we just talked about, it's probably going to run between, I'd say, 18 and 20K, somewhere around there. There's a couple of little things that might make a difference, but expect to pay that. Say 15 to 20K is, is a big range. That's number one. Number two, we got another pretty nice kitchen here. This one I see is a little bit more expensive because of the intricacy, the details, the, the lighting, the, the, the bar backsplash, the different types of wood. Um, it just looks very high-end and pricey. It looks like a very long countertop of either a Carrera marble or some kind of granite, which is you know gonna chew up a little bit of budget. I still think that even though this one's a little bit smaller, it's probably gonna fall in the same price range as that first kitchen. Let's say you're 18 to 22 on the high side. And then the last one, this is probably the most cost effective, believe it or not. It's just a bunch of masonry and brick. You've got some iron components in that stove top, which is pretty cool. But overall, I think you could probably get something like this in the 10 to $12,000 range. So let's move on to some landscaping and retaining walls. So the first picture is just natural boulders or almost slabs staircase that go up with some beautiful hillside landscaping. You got the Japanese maple in the upper right hand corner and you got a bunch of perennials that are framing along this. It's just a beautiful design and layout. Overall, I would say the price of each of those slabs is going to be $125 to $150 based on the weight of the component and you probably got about 15 going up there so you can start to crunch out the numbers and do the math there. You got a bunch of landscaping on the sides. I'd say all of that landscaping you're between $2,500 to $4,500. I know that's a big range but it's kind of hard to narrow down exactly what's going on here. Um, something like this, this kind of staircase, I think you're going to pay around 10 k that, that seems a doable and normal thing. That's all in. Let's go to the pavers. We got a paver landing. We got slabs, which are about 125 a piece, that go onto the landings of pavers, and they keep going up all the way up. I would say all in for this one, just to cut right to the chase, you're probably around 15 to 20 
for this part because you got the landscaping on the side, you got a couple little retaining walls, and you've got all that hardscaping that goes all the way up. And then the final one, the most expensive of the landscaping and retaining wall section are these beautiful stone walls. Um, this is awesome. All that stone's gonna cost some money. You got the masonry involved to hold it together, and then you've got all of the slabs going up. You got the flattening out, the lawn, the backfill that goes behind these walls to make sure that the hydrostatic pressure isn't gonna push them over and you've got the proper drainage. This whole boom enchilada, I would say, is probably gonna run between 35 to 45,000. I know I'm giving big ranges, but I can't see the full scope. I can see, you know, the meat and potatoes, but at least it's gonna set you up in knowing what it's gonna take to have these kind of elements. Home stretch is more of an outdoor living space. Let's start modest and we're gonna get to a big one. So the first one is more or less just a very nice but modern outdoor kitchen area with a small patio and this beautiful cantilevered pergola that's kind of going up and over. Very nicely done. I love this design. I would say you're gonna run about twenty to $25,000 for this outdoor space. The second one is probably a little bit cheaper. What I love about it is the backdrop behind the lounges because it's kind of that stucco finish, which is a little bit different. You got the elevated planters, the Mexican beach pebbles in them. You got this beautiful contemporary patio and the fire pit that goes along. All in all, with the furniture, I think you're around a 20K marker for something like this because it's pretty intricate. There's a lot of detail and a lot of prep that goes into something like this. You might get around the 16 to 17 range, but you know, budget on the high end, you can work it down, right? And the final, uh, this is a pretty big one. <laughs> I love beautiful contemporary layouts like this. Uh, we've got the awesome fence that is almost a focal point. You got the drop-in hot tub. You got the contemporary pavers of different sizes, the Mexican beach bubbles that are combing in between, the landscaping, the dining table, the string lights, and the beautiful um, deck. I don't know quite what that material is. It's either some kind of composite or eBay. Either way, this is awesome and it's in the nines. It's got a lot of detail. If you want a backyard like this, even though this is probably only about a 20 by 50 foot space, there's a lot of prep in there, you're probably gonna put a 50 to 60K price tag on that bad boy because it's to the nines. As you can see, knowing how much something costs is a great starting point when it comes to a backyard space, specifically a backyard space for yourself, right? So if you like stuff like this, but you're not quite sure how to put it together for your place, go down the links below. I'm a landscape designer. I'd love to help you. This is what I do. I design for people all over the country and I can help you in putting together a design that's based on a budget so you know how much it costs. This is Bobby K saying, a yard without a plan is just a wish. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you smash this guy and uh, go check out some more videos.